Hi, Bob, Hot Rod Roar with Kalepi. In fact, I'm in Kalepi's warehouse in Milwaukee, and I want to show you an innovative product idea that we came up with and turned it into a product. This is our Disco Air Removal device. Disco Air, Disco Dirt, Air Removal here, Dirt Removal here, and we got to thinking, gosh, what if we could combine these into one unit and make a combination dirt and air removal in one component instead of putting two separate components in the system? So, voila, the Disco Air Dirt Separator from Kalefi. Same inside geometry of our separate components that I just showed you, a full length median here that does a great job of air removal on the top end and a great job of dirt removal on the bottom end. So now one component takes a lot of cost out of your installation, but it gives you the same performance of the separate components. There it is, available to an inch and a quarter size. And then you're probably wondering about this Jolly Green Giant off to my right side here. Well, we actually take that concept a lot bigger. We take it all the way up to 12 inch, in fact. This happens to be an eight inch. This baby here can handle 1,600 gallons per minute and still do an excellent job of both dirt and air removal. So um, if you need big, think Kalefi, because we, um, we offer the big ones. I want to show you one last thing here. I want to show you an actual um, dem demonstration of how well this works. We put together a clear demo so you can see, uh, just like you're inside the pipe with Mrs. Frizzle over here. So. We put a bunch of these together for our reps to go out and uh, show how the, the combined uh, Disco Dirt product works. So this is a little demo and we put a pump in here and then we put a little on the back side, there's a little uh, aquarium pump that pumps air into it so we can show you how well the, um, the air removal works in this clear piping here. So let me fire this baby up. Now you can see the water going through there. And to make it even more interesting, we put one of our quick setter valves on it here. So what I can do is I can pull that out I can do it with one hand, and you can see the flow rates running there, right about four GPM. I can change the pump speed, increase the pump speed, decrease the pump speed, and see how that changes the flow rate going through the quick setter there. So it makes a really nice demo for the, uh, let me put it in mid speed, for the, uh, uh, the our reps to show people, to show how well this concept works. Now watch what happens when I turn the air on. It takes a second here, and we've got the air pump in the back. It'll get up to speed here. And look at the amount of air that we're pushing in the system and how quickly it comes out of the uh, solution over here. So, and even at different speeds, let me, um, sorry about my head there, slow it down there, lower velocity, and the amount of air, we're, sh we're shoving quite a bit of air into that. I forget how many feet per second, or CFM, I should say, cubic feet per minute we're putting in there. And you'll see virtually no air is getting through that uh, disc all dirt separator right now. Even at the higher speeds, we're increasing the velocities through that. Let's go up to the next speed, speed number two. Now we've taken our flow up to about, oh, just under six GPM. Still doing an excellent job. Not a bit of air is getting through that separate on the first pass, which is amazing. It's scrubbing it all out as quickly as that pump's putting it in there. And you can see we're going so fast. Now we're even starting to um, churn the water up a little bit there. But let me try it on, on speed three here. Really take it up to, now let's see what we've got for flow. Now we're up a little bit over seven. Um, GPM, you can see we still got air coming out of the uh, disc all dirt. You can see the big bubbles going in there and very little of the air is getting through there. So that um, goes to show you how well this device works. One other thing I want to show you on this, since I'm here, I've got your attention. Remember I told you it also does a good job of dirt removal. So what I did here is I got some dirt. I put some dirt and let me let this clear up for a second here since I had it churned up on high speed. I got some typical dirt that you'd find in a hydronic system. I put some copper shavings in there. I got some little real fine sand in there. I put some metal shavings and stuff in there. And now what I can do, by opening this valve here, the dirt's laying in the bottom of that, and it's gonna allow the dirt to go around in the system. See the dirt moving there? We'll do a close up here for you in a second. Now that dirt's come up into the separator and you can see it coming around in here. And look at that. Already it's fallen out of the, of the bottom, into the bottom portion of the separator. Now let me turn that off here, give it a second to do its job, and look at that, all the dirt's appearing right at the bottom of it. So that goes to show how well the dirt um, scrubbing component on this works, the dirt separator works, and the air is working at the same time. Air coming out the top, dirt coming out of the bottom, doesn't get any better than that, only from Kalefi.